Hey, second grade, Miss Carl here. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about possessive nouns and how we use an apostrophe with a possessive noun. So remember, excuse me, a possessive noun is showing ownership. So if this is my phone, you could say Miss Crawl's phone, right? It's mine. This is my possession. Ownership. The phone belongs to Miss Crawl. Miss Crawl's phone. And there's a very specific way that we have to write possessive nouns to show the possession. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have the dog of Josh. So that's Josh's dog, right? The dog belongs to Josh. The dog of Josh. Josh's dog. So I want you to notice what we do here. So whenever we have a possessive noun, we add an apostrophe S to the end of the noun, and that shows the possession. So Josh's dog. We know that. We have that apostrophe S. So every time we have a possessive noun, we're going to do that. So we have Miss Crawl's phone. We add apostrophe S. Cat's tail. The, cat be the, the tail belongs to the cat, so it's the cat's tail. We add an apostrophe S. So that's what we do whenever we have a possessive noun. So we're going to go ahead and get some extra practice with this. So this direction say, find the errors, select the word that needs to be changed or that needs punctuation after it. Then choose the proofreading symbol that will fix the error. So here we have one squirrel's family lives in the tree. But we can see that we're missing something here. We have an S and here's our possession, right? Squirrel's family, the family belongs to that squirrel. So we need to add an apostrophe. One squirrel's family lives in the tree. Here we have three dogs bones are in the yard. Three dogs bones are in the yard. So let's think about where that possessive noun is. Well, the bones belong to the dogs. So we need to put in apostrophe there. And one thing I want you to notice is that dogs is a plural noun, meaning more than one. There's more than one dog here. So there's already an S. So if there's already an S there, we add the apostrophe at the end. We're not going to add apostrophe and then another S. We just have to put an apostrophe. So when we see a plural noun, meaning more than one, that already has an S on it, we can just add that apostrophe. We don't have to do apostrophe then an S. Three dogs' bones are in the yard. We're still showing possession. The bones belong to the dogs. One dog's bone is at my feet. So here we have singular, just one dog. One dog's bone is at my feet. And we see that the bone belongs to the dog. So we need to show possession, ownership with the dogs. So we it's just singular, so we would do dog and then add apostrophe s since it's singular dog apostrophe s one dog's bone is at my feet here we have a cave can be a lion's home so we have our noun here lion there's possession right it's the lion's home the home belongs to the lion we're only talking about singular one lion here so we would add apostrophe S, apostrophe S. A cave can be a lion's home. The wind made these lion's manes dusty. So the manes are all the fur on the very front that they have. The wind made these lion's manes dusty. All right, so we found our noun here, lions. And it's the lion's manes. The manes belong to the lions. But you see, the lions is plural, right? We're talking about more than one lion here. So we already have an S. So to show possession with a plural noun, we're not going to add apostrophe S. We're just going to add that apostrophe. The wind made the these lions' manes dusty. Manes belong to the lions. More than one plural. We add the apostrophe at the end. All right, I want you guys to go ahead after I read this and point to where we need to add the apostrophe for this. So you will point where the apostrophe needs to be. 
A tiger stripes helps it hide. A tiger stripes helps it hide. So tell me, where's that apostrophe gonna go? What word? And is it gonna go before or after the S? Go ahead, point to it and think in your head or even say it out loud if you want. So you should all be thinking that tigers, right? Tiger stripes, the stripes belong possession to the tiger. In tiger singular, we're just talking about one tiger here. So we just have to do apostrophe S. We need an apostrophe S to make it possessive. Here we have these tigers homes are in different parts of China. These tigers homes are in different parts of China. So same thing, I want you to point to the noun that we need to add possession to. And where should that apostrophe go? I want you to yell it out. Where should that apostrophe go? What noun and where should the apostrophe go? So we should be looking at taggers because taggers homes, the homes belong to the taggers. It's their homes possession. But taggers is plural. We're talking about more than one tagger here. We already have an S. So all we have to do is add the apostrophe at the end. We don't add an apostrophe S to those plural nouns. If it's plural, we just add an apostrophe. If it's singular, we do the apostrophe S to show possession. This next one, we're going to do a couple more. So I want you to follow along as I read. These kittens' bowls need to be washed. These kittens' bowls need to be washed. So again, point to the noun that we need to show possession and think about where does the apostrophe need to go? Is it a singular or a plural noun? And that will help you. So we should be talking about kittens because kittens' bowls, the bowls belong to the kittens. We gotta show ownership and possession there. And kittens is already plural. So all we have to do is add the apostrophe on the end. We don't have to do anything else, just add that apostrophe. The kittens' bowls need to be washed. Now we have that kitten's collar has fallen off. That kitten's collar has fallen off. So I want you to point to the noun. We need to add possession to. And then where should the apostrophe go? I want to hear you say it. So you should be pointing to kitten because it's the collar, the kitten's collar, right? The collar belongs to that kitten. In kittens, singular, right? It's just singular noun. We're talking about one kitten. So to a singular noun, we add apostrophe S. To a singular noun, we add that apostrophe S. My family's pet is very special. My family's pet is very special. Go ahead and point to the noun that we need to add that possession to. What noun? And then yell out, where is that apostrophe going to go? Let me hear it. So you should point to family. Family's pet, the pet belongs to the family. And family is, so my family, we're only talking about one family, right? We're not talking about families, more than one, just my family, singular. So all we have to do is add apostrophe S. We're talking about one family, my family's pet. All right, second grade, that was awesome work. So before you go, quick review. We talked about possessive nouns today and how to do that, we need to add either an apostrophe S if it's a singular noun or just an apostrophe at the end of that S if it's plural. Because if it's plural, we already have that S, we can add that apostrophe. If it's singular, we need to add apostrophe S. Awesome work today, guys.